Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 5th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. This is Mike. And we're going to start out here with the Daily Dew. With the only image that we have of the sun as the Solar Dynamics Observatory site is down. Looking here at the Lasco 2 image. Doesn't show really any activity. But, yeah. It's down right now, Solar Dynamics Observatory. This is our only view of the sun. Looking here at a real-time solar wind as we are steady at about 400 kilometers per second. I'm gonna look here at the Enlil prediction, space weather prediction. So the little green dot is Earth. And all of that red and green activity is space weather that is headed our way. Thanks everybody for joining and tuning in today. Overlooking space weather, earthquakes, and weather from around the world. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours, most recent being here, the 4.6 in Iquique, Chile. Moving southward, 4.2 in El Apal, Chile, and as well Cochrane, Chile, 4.5, really close to Argentina. New volcano in that area. 4.4 here yesterday, Fiji. And that was a 550 kilometer depth. And then these minor fours spreading westward, 4.5, 4.6, Papua New Guinea. Indonesia, East Timor with a 4.3 and a 5.0 here in Indonesia. 4.5 in Japan. And across the North American plate, still watching small earthquake swarm in Idaho. Wee bit concerning. And as well, minor rumbles up the California coastline. Dominican Republic. Small earthquakes, earthquake swarm across the Eurasia plate, Africa plate. Not much to talk about. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes recently. So stay aware and prepared. We could be on the verge of a large shallow earth, earthquake in one of our quiet zones. And I'm thinking Central America or even South Sandwich Islands, the tip of South America. or even the African plate into the Indian plate. But that was the last seven days for earthquakes. Stay aware, prepared. Let's get to the disasters from around the world. Pacific Disaster Center. We're able to look at satellite imagery and as well all the disasters from around the world. Fires, floods is the main topic right now across the board. But let's, uh, let's get updated on the volcanoes. Popo in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador, Lanin in Chile, Argentina. So this is the new active volcano that is showing some activity. The Lanin in Chile in Argentina, right on the borderline. as well. Um, let's uh, run through here. Reventador, yeah. Uh, Sabincaya in Peru. And Kushinimirajima in Japan. And that's, that was just updated three hours ago as well. That has awakened as well. Dakono in Indonesia. Asusan in Japan. Era in Japan. And Senge in Ecuador. So yeah, busy day across the board on the Pacific Disaster Center, fires, floods, volcanoes, and as well, Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro, Tropical Cyclone Herald. Now, Iron Dro is not projected to affect humanity in any way, unless it reforms and heads towards uh, West Australia. We'll be keeping an eye on it <clears throat> over the next 48 hours. But some signatures here I wanted to share with you over the satellite imagery, look at the front of Tropical Cyclone Iron Dro yesterday. 
very interesting. The clash of the highs and the lows. Across Thailand and into Myanmar, looking at a lot of fires still, not much relief when they had some moisture come in from the east. Speaking of moisture, across the United States, we're looking at at least eight states being affected by floods, flash floods. Stay aware and prepared, my American friends. Tornado season is right around the corner. So is the Atlantic hurricane season. And of course, spring rains. And it looks like the high pressure ridge that was moving southward through Texas diminished the low that was developing in the Gulf of Mexico, thank God. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As we're seeing a cool trend for the five day forecast, but watch towards the end of it as our temperatures are going to be reaching 10 degrees. That's right, 10 degrees, five days from now. So until then, we still have some cooler temperatures straight across Canada and as well a low pressure system bringing snowfall to Regina, to Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and then eastward into Northern Ontario and Quebec. Watch for mixed precipitation as the temperature variance throughout Ontario really fluctuates as spring is trying to move in but our cold, high-pressure polar vortex is hanging around. And watch as this stagnant low-pressure system churns off the coast of California over the five days. And then it may finally penetrate the Rocky Mountains and then develop quite a low-pressure system heading eastward. Overlooking Europe, Strong high pressure ridge in place, still bringing some warm temperatures from Africa, but there is a deep lower level low affecting Northern Finland, Western Russia, bringing some late season snowstorms. As well, watch for heavy rains, heavy snow, Northern Iran into Afghanistan, and as well, into the mountains here with northern Pakistan, India. South China and Taya, uh, Taiwan, watch for heavy rains moving eastward into the Pacific. And then definitely gonna be keeping an eye on the Pacific Ocean as the forecast has dramatically changed here from this low pressure system in the middle of the Pacific. Now, yesterday when I had showed, it showed some extreme heavy snowfall warnings for Alaska. But after they sprayed yesterday and that pretty detailing video I shared with everyone, the forecast has changed. It's very interesting. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on the world, guys. And I appreciate you tuning in every day. Looking here, heavy rains towards southern Brazil into Paraguay and Bolivia as well heavier amounts throughout Colombia. So we may have some very large supercells developing. Africa, daily evaporation rains, cooler temperatures across southern regions of Africa. And heavier rain amounts moving into Malaysia or sorry, uh, Madag Mozambique. That's right. Moving into Mozambique, there will be some heavy rains. Looking here, a tropical cyclone Iron Drove, five day forecast. Moving south, southeastward, may just graze southwestern tip of Australia. And Australia, Northern Territory, rain moving in throughout the week, and cooler temperatures across southeast Australia, straight up the coast into New South Wales. And then looking at Tropical Cyclone Herald, as it is now a tropical uh, category three cyclone and will be a three when it hits Fiji Islands, Vanuatu. So stay safe, aware and prepared, my friends and family. A lot is happening on our planet and I'm happy that I'm able to share 
my research with you. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Spring it's supposed to be right around the corner. We shall see. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. And stay tuned. I have another video coming up in the next couple hours. Thanks. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.